coming up on In The City this week. I spoke to Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer and we look back to last Saturday's performance, but look their heads to this Saturday and heading to the Hawthorns. Andrew Taylor and Jordan Much had some fun and games with us in Teammates and Fraser Campbell shared his thoughts. But first up, it's the gaffer. It's been a good week, uh, of course, it was disappointing uh, the end of the game against Liverpool but I, I thought the first half was really positive and the lads have come in this week and been, been bright as well. And did that game highlight how attacking we can be in going forward for you? Yeah, both, yes and no, because uh, of course you play against a top, top team uh, who are going to ex exploit any spaces you leave behind and of course when it goes to 3-2 for them, 4-2, we've got to really go for it. and then. 6-3 looks bad. I don't think it was a 6-3 game. First half we were very pleased with, especially up until 2-1. Uh, of course we concede two, set, two corner kicks, or from two corner kicks that's not what we want. That's not what we're known for. But that, that's just one of these games that you, you play against top, top players. Suarez, Sturridge, Steven Gerrard, uh, Coutinho, I thought he was excellent. So we came up against some of the best players in, in the country at the moment. Lots of positives though, two takes to the weekend, which is a huge game. How are yeah. you looking to approach the game against West Brom? It's a massive, massive game for the two teams. We're looking there to, we go there to win the game, of course, but we can't make it as open as we were against Liverpool. But we want to go forward when we've got the opportunity. So we're going to analyse them the next few days as well. Uh, they've had their injury problems, probably some of them will be back, uh, back again. So, but we'll, we'll concentrate on ourselves make sure that we, uh, we're mentally and physically ready. The manager added that there are plenty of points to pick up this coming month. I think we're uh, looking to, uh, to April. Uh, of course, West Brom first, but April as a month that we should and would get points from. Of course, we need four more than the teams above us because we've got such a bad goal difference as well. So uh, uh, that's, uh, we know what we have to do. Nonetheless, looking at the games, it is that time of the season now where teams do start to break away from the rest of the pack. Do the boys believe that that can be us? We can make that break away? Definitely. We can, uh, we can get the points. We can get the, obviously the next two games are going to be massive because they're teams directly around us. So that's going to be uh, a vital uh, 10 days coming up. Finally, Oli gave us an injury update for the weekend. We're looking okay. Uh, I think uh, Ben Turner had to come off training today with a migraine, but that'll, he'll probably be fine. Nooney is still not recovered from his muscle injury, so. but apart from that, Matt Connolly is back in, full training, so we're looking good. The women's team saw off Wrexham 2-1 thanks to this controversial goal from Hannah Lewis that the away side claimed went over the bar. A replay suggested otherwise. Isn't it lucky the club films every match? A big test next week for the Futsal Scholars as they face Leeds United in the quarter-finals of the Soccer AM Cup. There was a great turnout at the House of Sports who welcomed around 26 schools on Thursday for a disability schools tournament. Cardiff City Football Club touched down in South Africa early Thursday morning to attend the Barclays Premier League live event in Johannesburg. It was a busy first day for the club's Nick Heslop and Jamie De Cruz, along with the foundation's Scott Young, Mark Hill and Simon Stevens, who were setting up some great activities to be unveiled to the park's VIP visitors on Friday morning. Cardiff City Community and Education Foundation are excited to announce our inaugural Foundation Day, taking place next Saturday and coinciding with Cardiff City's Premier League fixture against Crystal Palace. Each member of Cardiff City's 2013-2014 squad has pledged a day's wage in support of the Foundation. We kindly ask that you guys get involved too. Tweet your support using the hashtag CEFDay14 and get donating whatever you can by texting CCFC14 followed by £5 or £10 to 770. Your support is most valuable to us and we thank you for your contributions. He scored his ninth goal for the Bluebirds last Saturday and assisted Cardiff in an impressive performance against one of the top teams in the league. But performance aside, it's the points that matter nonetheless and our number 10 spoke of the frustration of walking away from these games with nothing. You know, we've, we've played well last couple of games, 
but we've not got anything from the game. So, you know, there's part of you that thinks, oh, we, you know, we're doing everything we can and we're still not getting anything. But, you know, um, we've played worse and got results. So it's, it's hard to say, you know, beginning of the season, every, most people thought we were getting relegated anyway. So it's um, no added pressure really, because, you know, we're just doing what everyone expected us to do, but hopefully we can prove everyone wrong and um, get out of it. Fraz went on to look at Saturday's trip to the Hawthorns. I think it's going to be similar to the uh, Fulham game at our place. You know, it was it was edgy, nervous. You know, and we scored the first goal and it unsettled them a bit. They scored, they scored obviously, and you know it was a back to back to square one again. But it's I think form goes out the window a little bit. Um, we've we've been playing well, but we've been working hard most of, most importantly, and that's what we've got to do regardless of how well we're playing in the next few games. We've got to really work hard. And you know, sometimes you, you can play badly, but work really hard and, and, and get a result. And I think that's what's going to be the difference, really. Whoever wants it more will we'll get the three points. And I think if it was earlier in the season, you might think, well, yeah, it's easy to sh to uh, switch off a little bit and just think, well, you know, it's only West Brom. But at this time of season, you've you've got to treat every you know every opponent the, the same because they're fighting for life just like us. You know, everyone's doing going for different things. Like Liverpool are going for the title. We're trying to save ourselves for, from relegation, so it's it's really tough at this, this this end of the season because everybody needs to win, really. Time for the fun part, and up this week it's Jordan and Tails, and they go head to head in teammates. If there was a film to be made about the life of Jordan Much, who <laughs> who would he have playing himself? Would it be? Sylvester Stallone, Everyone's doing this. Brad Pitt, or Will Smith. Are you ready? It's going to be wrong, but... Uh, ready? Turn it round in three, two, one. Oh, no, oh, I'm going to put Brad, Brad Pitt, Pitt as well. Will you? Come yeah. on and explain why Brad Pitt. Why Brad Pitt? He's a leg, isn't he? If Tails wasn't a footballer, what would he be? Oh, my God. Would he be A, a teacher, B, a vet, or C, a TV star? You like your dog, so I yeah, thought maybe like you'd dog, like to be a... I'm allergic to all the dogs and cats and stuff, so I can't be a vet. <laughs> so that narrows it down to a teacher or a TV star, I don't know, what would he be? Ready? What have you put? He's got that presenter TV style, star like, and a teacher. I can imagine you being a teacher, but I can imagine you being a TV star too. How would you become a TV star? Look? I don't know, you just, I, I don't like know. Like a presenter or something like that. Yeah, maybe, like maybe a presenter or something. Like oh, well. Anton Deck. You Anton two, actually. Deck. Yeah. You two could be the next Anton Deck. I think he's got that, yeah. That's yeah. Good. Right, how many tattoos does Jordan have? You heard his pen on the paper, didn't you? <laughs> Zero. Yeah. Zero yeah. tattoos for Jordan. And you. What is Tails' his favourite colour? I don't even know what this. You don't have a favourite colour? Uh, yeah, I'll make one up. She's got no idea what Grey and yellow. You wear a lot of grey though, innit? Yeah. I wouldn't say it's my favourite colour. It's not. I don't, I mean, I don't have a favourite colour. Do you not? No. Yellow. Never seen you wear anything yellow. No, I never wear anything yellow. <laughs> Last question. We'll go with Jordan on this one. So. He's stuck on a desert island. Which three items will he take with him? It is hard. I don't know what I'll take. Because there's no electricity to put your telly in, is there? So you can't get Yeah, he, he hasn't thought about that. <laughs> oh, have you put your PlayStation down somewhere? <laughs> similar, yeah, Play similar, three. pretty much. <laughs> Donnie's gone practical now. So oh. you've said here, Tails. So I need to go practical. Phone, toothbrush and food. Jordan says <laughs> sunglasses, <laughs> swimming shorts and flip-flops. So, oh, fair enough, fair enough. That's the best. Laptop was the first thing he wrote down. Laptop. I would yeah. have. I would have imagined you'd try to take some kind of hip hop CD Liverpool or something. Very practical, isn't it? Your iPad. Sunglasses. That's quite food. practical thinking. Food. Yeah. You. Flip flops. <laughs> you just take a helicopter or something. And <laughs> stuff, just take a suitcase and. Yeah.